Good morning. Welcome back again. We move today as we're following the chronology of Jeremiah from chapter 34 back to 32, because that's the chronological order of the thing. And we have a question. Would King Zedekiah put the prophet Jeremiah, would he imprison him? And so let's read from Jeremiah 32, verses 1 to 5, and see if there's an answer. And you already know the answer, but... The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar. For then the king of Babylon's army besieged Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison, which was in the king of Judah's house. For Zedekiah, king of Judah, had shut him up, saying, Why do you prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And Zedekiah, king of Judah, shall not escape from the hand of the Chaldeans, but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon, and shall speak with him face to face, and see him eye to eye. Then he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon, and there he shall be until I visit him, says the Lord. Though you fight with the Chaldeans, you shall not succeed. And that's what Zedekiah has in mind. He didn't like it when Jeremiah said those things. Well, what is the... the, the the task of a prophet. A prophet is to speak for God. He is to speak the message that God gives them. God puts the divine inspiration in his mind. The prophet speaks out that divine message in his own human words, but they're also the word of God because it's inspired. It's God breathed. And so Jeremiah, when he said this, it wasn't because he just didn't like Zedekiah's haircut. It was because God had a purpose. God wanted King Zedekiah to submit. The kingdom was to submit in part to Babylon, and then God would work uh, work for them. They had to submit to God, though. First, God was chastening them because the kingdom, kingdom had gone so far off of God's moral plan, because they've all gone corrupt here. So this is a divine intervention from on high. Prophets say things that uh, people don't want to hear. Jeremiah has been faithful. He has uttered the messages that God has given him faithfully. He knew that it, it really wouldn't strike Zedekiah as uh, wonderful things that he was saying, but he said them anyway because ultimately the prophet is God's servant. And so many times, you know, the prophets are kind of matched up with kings. God sends his prophet. The prophets, he uses his prophet to try to get the right word to the king. But many times the kings are not really very up for that. So troubles like this happen. Prophets thrown in prison. This is part of the job description for a prophet. I mean, if you were taking a course at the university for your course on being a prophet, I'm sure that a couple of your classes would be uh, how to thrive in prison environments. See, and here's the thing. The prophet is interrupting unreality with reality. The prophet is, the people don't want to hear the reality. They just want to hear themselves spewing their own unreality. And it's still happening today. The main, the main narrative that comes from our governments and our media and everything today, that's their, unreal, that's their reality, but it's just unreality. It's, and they want to spew it across the airwaves all day long, and we're supposed to say, oh, 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 okay. But we are taking a word from God, the God of heaven. We need to follow him. He has reality for us, and so that's what we're looking for. I'm thankful that God sends his prophets so that we can actually pierce through the, the fog of nonsense that's out there by other common narratives and get straight through to God's truth and God's reality. Would Zedekiah put Jeremiah, and would he imprison him? Yeah, 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 he would, he did. Babylon is outside the walls. The army's right there, but the king has Jeremiah in his power, and he's going he's gonna to hold him in a captivity and see what happens. Why don't you and I pray just now? Dear Father in heaven, when you speak, your servants must speak. When you speak, your servants must listen. Help us to be your servants. Help us to, to hear your speaking. Help us to uh, sort unreality from reality. Help us to go by the Bible, and the eternal things. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Thank you for sending your servants, the prophets. May we believe them and be established and Lord, you will take care of all the details. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Strengthen us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yes, that's the answer. Yes, King Zedekiah would dare to imprison Jeremiah. God be with you today, and may he have the last word for you.